From setting up your folding chairs to setting off fireworks, there are some interesting ways to get kicked out of Disney's theme parks, and we've got 20 of them for you today on DFB Guide. Hey everybody, it's AJ for Disney Food Blog, and we have got some very interesting ways to uh, buck the rules, I guess, at Disney's theme parks. Things you're not allowed to do, things you shouldn't do, and things that will definitely get you get kicked out of the park. So the first one we're gonna talk about is setting off fireworks. So that's right, unless you're being paid thousands of dollars as one of Disney's official pyrotechnicians, who are responsible for the fireworks shows that happen in the parks nightly, don't even think about bringing your personal poppers and peonies. Disney explicitly prohibits guests from setting off fireworks anywhere on property, including your resort hotel. Oh, and you also can't bring your smoke or fog machines. So if you are planning on recording your new rock music video or creating some personal ambiance to go along with your Halloween costume, it's not a good idea at Disney. Now another way to get in trouble in the Disney parks, and this is a brand new one based on some new changes in theme park policy in the past couple of months, bringing your giant stroller can get you in big trouble at Disney parks. So yeah, thanks to those latest park rules, your stroller can now get you in trouble at Disney World and Disneyland. Strollers must be no more than 31 inches in width and 52 inches in length. And there are stroller measuring guides at some parks, but it's best to get out the tape measure before you leave home to be sure you're within the guidelines. Also note that stroller wagons are a no-no, so anything you have to pull, and even wagons you can technically push, cannot come into the parks regardless of size. Now, Disney notes that there are no wagons allowed multiple times in their park rules, so they are pretty serious about that. So yeah, no wagons. And remember that you can rent strollers at Disney World. They are recently testing a new program in Animal Kingdom where guests can rent strollers. They're a little more comfortable than the typical hard plastic ones that Disney's known for. And you can also rent strollers from several local stroller companies who will guarantee their strollers fit Disney's guidelines. Next thing you can get kicked out for, sneaking onto rides. So whether you're trying to cut the lines or padding your kids' shoes to get them to reach the height requirement, sneaking onto rides is a definite no-no in Disney parks. The only way to skip that line is to have a fast pass. And don't just try hopping in line. You'll need to scan your magic band to be in that fast pass line, and they usually have two tap style points in that line, just in case you decide to hop over after the queue entrance. You will probably get caught there when you get up to the actual ride. And remember, height requirements for little ones are there for safety reasons. It's not safe for them to ride if they're not tall enough. So while you might be bummed they can't ride Space Mountain, it's much better to wait until they're tall enough rather than trying to trick the cast member into thinking they're tall enough. So also, kids under 14 are not allowed to be in the parks without supervision, and kids under 7 cannot ride any ride without someone over the age of 14 riding with them. Next way to get kicked out of the park, using that megaphone that you bring everywhere you go. Okay, so it's officially not cool to bring your giant megaphone into the parks. Everybody got that? Everybody cool with that? <laughs> Even if you're trying to herd your 20-person family reunion, no megaphones. And along with the not being allowed to annoy hundreds of other guests with your megaphone, you also can't bring in horns, whistles, or artificial noisemakers. So stay quiet and stop trying to organize a revolution from the Haunted Mansion line, okay? Now, speaking of organizing a revolution, you also could potentially get kicked out of the park for unfurling political banners and banners of any kind. Now, this rule started in the 60s to keep protests from happening in Disneyland, but it's continued throughout the decades since that politically charged time. Now, in addition to not being allowed to rustle up converts to your new political party, you also can't distribute any kind of pamphlets, political or not, or give speeches, there's that megaphone again, or demonstrate in the parks. There have been a few instances where a certain gentleman has been escorted from the parks after unfurling political signs. Just don't be that dude. Next thing you can get kicked out for, going for a swim on Splash Mountain or any other water ride. And do not try to get out of a moving vehicle at any attraction. Seriously, it's just not safe. So standing up on a ride vehicle will likely cause the ride to stop. And yes, cast members are monitoring the ride vehicles throughout the entire attraction. There's cameras. So just because you're in the middle of the ride doesn't mean you'll get away with it. They'll still see you. They'll stop the ride. They'll make everybody sit down. Now, if you decide to hop out of the ride vehicle, you will almost certainly be escorted from the park. Also, it's not fun to swim in the ride water because it's only like a foot deep, so you can't really swim in there anyway. Next thing you can get 
in trouble for in Disney World wearing your Heelys. Okay, tell your tween right now that the Heelys have to stay at home. For those of you who are not fully indoctrinated into tween culture, Heelys are those shoes with wheels in them and you can't have them in the parks. You also can't have skateboards, scooters, the two-wheeled ones, not the ECV scooters, or inline skates. So if you were planning on enjoying any 1980s themed wheel-based recreation, you are out of luck, my friends. Now, something else that can get you kicked out of the park, shoplifting. This one should be very obvious, but sometimes the Disney bubble takes you out of the world so much that it doesn't feel like there's real law enforcement <laughs> in Walt Disney World. But we promise Disney still operates under the same laws as the rest of the country. So if you shoplift, you're gonna be meeting with an Orange County officer. We can guarantee that. So keep your hands to yourself when you're in the park shops. Don't mess around with that, not worth it. Next weird thing that can get you uh, in trouble in Walt Disney World and potentially kicked out of the park is setting up your folding chairs. Now, I know, I know, you were thinking how relaxing it would be to bring your folding beach chair and watch the world go by from the middle of Main Street, but according to Disney, nope, not allowed. For serious, it would be great if we could use our own folding stools or chairs to wait for the parade or fireworks, although maybe a bit of a hassle carrying them around all day, but you know, you do you. But folding chairs are officially prohibited in the parks by Disney. It is in the rules. They actually say in the rules, don't set up your folding chair. So clearly someone's tried to do this before. And this one seems like a no brainer, but sometimes it's hard to manage having too much to drink. Now this is definitely something to keep in mind with the food and wine festival coming up in Epcot. Uh, having a few drinks on your vacation is a-okay. Just make sure you don't take it too far when you're in Disney World. Public intoxication is frowned upon at Disney and you will likely be asked to leave and come back once you've sobered up if you are causing a ruckus or offending other guests after you've drunk too much in Walt Disney World. Now remember, if you have been drinking, please be responsible. Don't get into a car. Disney has tons of transportation options. You can take taxis, you can take lifts, Ubers. There's lots of opportunities to get yourself back home or back to your hotel without getting behind a wheel. Next thing you can get you kicked out of Disney World, using someone else's ticket. Now, tickets and annual passes are linked to a specific person these days. Their biometrics are on there, their photo, so Disney's gonna know pretty quickly that you're using someone else's ticket and you won't get past the gates. Now, if you're very unlucky, security and law enforcement may be brought in as well because you're impersonating somebody else. So just don't do it, go buy your own ticket, not worth it. Next interesting way to get kicked out of Disney World, sneaking backstage. Now, you just want to see how the magic is made, right? Sorry, no dice. Disney strictly prohibits guests from going into backstage areas without explicit permission. For example, when you're on a VIP tour, they may take you backstage, or Disney's opened a backstage area once in a while to allow easier traffic flow through the park. But if you're not supposed to be back there, you can get kicked out. Besides, do you really want to see what goes on back there? Talk about seeing how the sausage is made. Better to stay on stage, my friends. Next weird and totally useless way to get kicked out of Disney World is harassing the characters or cast members. Okay, I don't care how mad you get. Don't hit the characters. Don't talk to Cinderella inappropriately like a weirdo. This should really be common sense, but these things still happen in the most magical place on Earth. So always be nice to the cast members. They're constantly working to make your vacation perfect and often don't get the respect they deserve for doing so. So even if things are going wrong, stay positive and remember they're there to help. If you're talking to a character, try to keep things appropriate. We know you can do it. All right, another interesting way to get kicked out of Disney World, trying to scatter your dead relative's ashes somewhere. Now, Haunted Mansion is the top spot for trying to sneak someone's ashes into the parks, but it's probably happened on nearly every ride. Everyone's got their favorite, right? Not only is this not allowed, the rides get cleaned pretty regularly, so your loved one will likely end up in a vacuum bag. So if you get caught, you'll probably be escorted off property for doing that. So it's probably best to not even try. Another way to get escorted out of Disney World and get kicked out straight up, getting in a fight. Now this is another no brainer. If you start throwing punches in Magic Kingdom, you're gonna be thrown out of the park. We know that tensions can be high at Disney World. You're paying a lot of money for what's supposed to be a perfect vacation. And when things aren't perfect, there can be a domino effect that ends in serious frustration. So if you happen to tussle with someone who's had a similar day and is at a similar place emotionally and things come to a head, let's just say I've seen some stuff go down in the park. 
parks, but try to keep your wits about you. If you need a cool down or a breather, take one, and I guarantee you won't get your money back if you lose your temper and are escorted out of the park, so you might as well take it down a notch and try to enjoy the rest of your day in Disney World. Next way to get kicked out of the park, dressing up as a character. So costumes for kiddos under the age of 14 are totally okay, but as an adult you can't impersonate a character and you'll get in extra big trouble if you start signing autographs as a character. So adults are allowed to wear costumes during certain special events like Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party and Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party and Star Wars Galactic Nights. Those special event costume guidelines do apply. Costumes may not drag on the ground, have any pointy bits, or contain weapons. And capes cannot go past the waist. Masks are never allowed for anyone over 13, and lots and lots of layers may result in extra long security checks. Next way to get kicked out of Disney World, bringing your furry friend. So sorry, Fido and Petunia cannot ride Pirates of the Caribbean with you. While Disney does allow service animals into the parks, any furry friend designated as just a plain old pet and who doesn't have service animal certification is not allowed through the park gates. Now, if you can't bear to be without your fur babies, Disney does have a few dog-friendly hotels where dogs are allowed to stay with their owners. And Best Friends Pet Hotel is also available on property to house furry friends while their owners are on a Disney vacation. Note that if you do bring a service animal into the parks, animals are not allowed to play in water features or fountains, so make sure you have other ways to keep your animal cool. All right, this one's brand new. Another way to get kicked out of the parks, smoking in the park. So Disney parks are very strict about where you can and cannot smoke. This includes vaping too. And you are not allowed to smoke anywhere in Walt Disney World or Disneyland theme parks any longer as of a couple of months ago. So you'll find smoking sections outside of each of the parks. And these are the only place it's okay to smoke around the Disney theme parks. You'll also find designated smoking areas at resort hotels and at Disney's shopping and dining districts, but for the first time in forever, you cannot smoke anywhere inside Disney's theme parks. All right, next interesting way to get kicked out of Disney World, climbing the pyramid or anything else that's not meant to be climbed. This one's a pretty obvious safety measure. So no matter how great the view might look from the top of Mexico's pyramid or Disneyland's Matterhorn, you'll want to stay on the ground. Now this one's especially important if you've got those ninja warrior kiddos who wanna climb everything. Just keep an eye on them and make sure they stay on the ground. And the last interesting way to get kicked out of Disney World, flying a drone. So parts of Walt Disney World, including Magic Kingdom, and parts of Epcot, and some of the resort areas are no-fly zones. So drones are not allowed. Now, even if you're not in the actual no-fly zone, security will still ask you to stop flying your drone. And the same goes for remote-controlled vehicles or toys, except, of course, your droid depot droid over there in Galaxy's Edge. So there are a few interesting ways to get kicked out of Disney World or at least get in a lot of trouble at Walt Disney World and Disneyland. So let us know in the comments what you guys think. Some of these are brand new uh, rule additions to Disney's park rules. Some of them are old hat and harken back to a different time, but no matter what, you're not allowed to do them. Thanks for listening and thanks for watching everyone. This is AJ for Disney Food Blog and we'll see you real soon.